Thank you, Sabine. Saskatchewan's famous Scotty the T-Rex skeleton is an estimated 66 million years old. But researchers are still making new discoveries thanks to fossils. Don Vermees has more on what they found and how they're using it to learn more about our past. This may be just a small piece of bone. Uh, this is the fracture here. But it tells a big story about an even bigger creature. Either Scotty got into some sort of fight with another dinosaur, maybe some sort of disease that caused this fracture inside the rib bone from Scotty. Saskatchewan's famous fossil, nicknamed Scotty the T-Rex, was unearthed near East End in the 1990s. But the secrets it holds into its prehistoric past keep coming to light. That's why we initially picked this bone from Scotty. And we're to see what we could find, and what we found is that we found these preserved vessel structures. To get a closer look at the specimen, this bone fragment led Mitchell and his team to the Canadian light source in Saskatoon. These two structures are inside the bone here. And thanks to the synchrotron uh, X-ray at the light source, the team created a detailed 3D model of both bone and soft tissue structures inside, all without damaging the estimated 66 million year old the fossil. Around. These aren't just normal parts of the bone, these are um, large vessels that are that were used to facilitate the, the healing of this fracture. We are looking at the darkest time, 60 million years ago, and we are looking at it inside the dinosaur bone. A groundbreaking discovery senior scientist Mohsen Shakuri believes couldn't have been done without the synchrotron light. I'm not saying that was the only source but they wouldn't be able to find this as much as they find now without using a synchrotron. A window into how dinosaurs lived and died millions of years ago. Things like fossil plants, things like pieces of amber that allow us to reconstruct the whole ecosystem so we get some sense of what the forest looked like around it and um, some of the other plants and animals that were living alongside it. Keeping them everything all together puts everything into context so we can better um, understand, try to piece together the relationship of how, how this bone was preserved again over 66 million years. The team says they hope to continue their research by studying bones from other T Rexes found elsewhere in Canada to see if there are similarities or trends within the species' tissue structure before the possibility of branching out to other dinosaurs. Donovan May, CTV News, Regina.